Hello, trading is closed on the 7th of December 2015. My last call looked for lower prices today, which we got. During the day, MeJT said ultimately lower prices would print. Here's the target. We came close here. We didn't hit it. The system said the rally was false, and then we hit the target here pretty much on the nose. We don't have to go lower than this because the ultimate sell target has been hit, but almost always we get lower than this minimum. So optionally, I look for these lows to be undercut at some time. We usually don't have to wait too long, but it's not a requirement. Without any new MeJT uh, targets for tomorrow, I have to base my prediction on something else, which is hard because I have higher and lower targets. On the positive side, we had a gap down, hit an early low, and couldn't break through. That's usually positive unless we immediately take out this low, ideally by gapping under it tomorrow. Unless that happens, we usually have higher prices. We also have a rally into the close, followed by a gap down today. Gaps like this tend to fill and usually fill pretty quickly, and there's usually resistance over that high. Well, that's the good news. Not so good news. I don't like the time of this breakout here. It broke out only after professionals had left the trading pits. They couldn't break through these levels all day long. And suddenly when the amateurs were left to themselves, they did. And even with that breakout, we couldn't break out over these prior highs. We're still at a strong resistance level at recent highs. And I really don't like the fact that we couldn't uh, recover this significant support resistance level here. So I do have higher and lower targets. Typically that means that the, 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 the uh, commonest occurrence is that we have a gap outside of this range. And the next most common occurrence is that we close a little change. Based on that, I'm looking for a whipsaw tomorrow. The daily pattern typically has a positive bent to it. And so because of that, the ideal situation would be if we gapped down under these lows and then rallied throughout the rest of the day and filled the gap here. That's ideal, but it's not really required. And the only prediction I'm going to make is that we have either a gap out of this range or a uh, relatively unchanged close. And I'm looking for a whipsaw, not necessarily all in one day. And that is today's call.